Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com. Saturday at NAMM 2015, craziest day. Well, we figured we'd give you something really cool, some great new products from Blackstar Amps. Blackstar Amps have been really kind of blowing up the industry, man, lately. And we got Dan from Blackstar. He's going to tell us about uh, some of the new products over here. So, Dan, how you doing? Yeah, really well, thank you. Great show for us, great show. What you got going on with Blackstar these days? So, uh, for the show, we've got two new products at the show. Um, first, we're going to start with the, uh, the Fly 3. This is a uh, battery-powered, portable amp, two-channel, ISF EQ with a built-in analog style tape delay. So here we have it. Quite portable, as you can see. Very portable. Uh, we have, it runs on batteries. I've got a power supply available as well for the show. Six AA batteries, battery life between 20 and 80 hours, depending on how you run it hard. Great product. Uh, you'll see on the top, you've got two channels, uh, gain and volume. EQ is our patented ISF, which lets you get a more American style tone or a more British style tone. That's a very common product for now. It's a black star patent. Um, and then we have a little delay circuit here, which is an uh, analog style, which allows you to get uh, a quick slap back reverb type effect all the way to a Gilmore-esque screaming lead time, which is great for a little product to give it that little lift of ambience, you know? I like the Gilmore-esque as uh, David Gilmore and Pink Floyd kind of thing. I am a huge, huge fan. Likewise. I'm, I'm going to try not to play Gilmore licks on purpose. Why not, you know? I apologize if it comes out. So what we have here, uh, let's start off with a, a simple sound. We'll get onto the thing next to it in a moment. Um, this is just the Fly 3 mono product here. Clean channel. I'm going to use uh, a single coil. Get it completely dry. So here we have. So that's a clean channel. What I can do, also, like any Black Star, the clean channel will crunch up, drive really nicely. So if I hit it a bit harder with a humbucker rather than a single coil, you can get a nice crunchy sound without even touching the amp. It's very responsive. Here we go. And then we can move on to the other channel, which is hidden just a switch. Same setting, just on the drive channel. Great sound, cleans up very nicely as well. Very dynamic like any Black Star. Now, how about volume-wise, man? Just so, Can you let it rip? Yeah, we can do that. Currently, we're running in the uh, single speaker. We'll let it rip, and then we'll plug in the extension speaker, which is just next to it, and you can see the difference. So you have your own little teeny little mini stack we on top. We can. You can have it. You can run it. You'll see here. We actually can have uh, run it as a um, speaker system for anything. So you can plug your phone in there. You can plug your MP3 player, awesome. your PC, laptop, anything like that, because you have a standard 8-inch line in. And obviously a headphone out next to it, which defeats the speaker for silent practice in okay. hotel rooms and stuff. It's really cool. So yeah. let's let's rip this thing. And currently I'm not using any of the delay. I'll bring in a bit of that now, just to get a bit of ambience. Now let's bring in the uh, the extension cab, Terry, if you wouldn't mind. So I'll play while I bring it in. So there we brought in the extension speaker. This is the Fly 103. This is a, a, another three inch speaker, doubles the power to six watts. It's completely passive. It's powered by the uh, Fly 3 product itself. Has a neat little cable tidy for traveling. And as we say, you can make a nice little stack with it. Sure. It's kind of good fun which then really gives you a lot more beans. I'm sure the Japanese are very proud of you guys for making it small. <laughs> they are really pleased, and actually it's having a great reception. We're having a great time at the show. Now, That's what's something like through. that map for? What's the, what's the, what's so the, the Fly 3 unit on its own comes with batteries. That map's at 59.99. And the wow. Fly Stereo Pack, which comes with the Fly 3, the Fly 103 extension cab, and the power supply, that's $99.99. It's absolutely crazy. Totally affordable, man. It could be under any kid's Christmas tree at any time. You know? It was under quite a few kids' Christmas trees, I'll tell you that now. Wow, for 100 bucks, you got something like that, man. Well, you can bring it anywhere. That's our Fly 3. That's our Fly 3. 
The next product we have, um, which is absolutely brand new, Fly 3 was available just before Christmas out here in the States. The uh, next product, which is our ID Core Beam product, which is brand new for the show, launched it right here. This product, if uh, hopefully your, your guys and uh, your followers are familiar with our ID Core range of products that we released here last year. We won Best in Show with that product last year. As a great little practice amp, starts from 99 bucks, goes up to 199, three different power ratings, they're stereo units. This is the next in the range. This is the ID Core Beam product, which is a, a more home style product. And you'll notice Beam here. Uh, Beam itself is an acronym. It stands for Bass, Electric, Acoustic, and Music. So not only have we got all the great sounds from the ID Core product from the electric guitar, which I'll, I'll show you in a second, but we can also plug in a bass, uh, an acoustic guitar. We also have two. So very versatile. Amps. It's excellent. Most importantly, this is a Bluetooth amplifier. We've done a lot of design with this product, both in the cabinet and the digital technology, so that this sounds absolutely killer. This has replaced my hi-fi, this has replaced my surround sound system for my TV. Really? Absolutely. Wow. This thing is absolutely killer. We'll demo it now. So I'll just start off with a, a few electric guitar sounds for anyone who's not familiar with the ID Core range. Um, here we just have a, a two, one of the clean channels. There's six voices on here for the electric guitar. Two cleans, two crunches, two leads. Currently, this is a clean bright, which is more of a, a Class A style chimey. I'm running the, the gain quite high because I like to dig in and use my pickups to control the amount of drive. Just start off here with uh, a little delay and reverb, and I'm on a clean channel with a neck pickup. Here we go. And just like we did with the fly, I can drive the same sound nice and hard with a a nice neck humbucker with a bit more output. Here we go. That's a bite. Nice bite, really feels great. Lots of compression, feels great under the fingers. Yeah. What we're here here, just for the guys, um, if you're actually listening and we had a stereo set up, you uh, may not be familiar with this if you're not. This has a super wide stereo technology. So what we have with our effects system, this is a stereo product. Uh, all of the effects sound huge. They sound like the repeats and the delays and the reverbs are coming from outside of the cabinet. So I'll let you have a little listen to this if you haven't heard it already. That is really uh, a big thing for when you're playing a small amp. What we did with ID Core was we wanted it to be fun to play. The real trick is making a small amp sound like a huge amp. So that's that's really part of the part of the charm with that there. Now you mentioned something about this replaced your surround system. How, yeah. how does this happen? So this is kind of um, it was somewhat uh, part design, part. I'm just going to try this and let's see what happens. We have our, our Bluetooth, uh, obviously streaming for our audio for our new Bluetooth devices. What we also have though is our eighth inch input here for the line in. What I actually do personally, and, and a few guys have been trying it and coming back with me with, wow, that really works, is um, I've been plugging my uh, TV or my laptop DVD player, whatever I've got, I'm plugging it in, I'm just connecting it from the headphone or the, or the auxiliary output of that, and I'm going straight into here, and then you get all of that dynamic range, all of the great stuff that this cabinet and these speakers can deliver, which are custom designed for this product. Um, you then also have that super wide stereo spread I can essentially just do away with my uh, my big, costly, um, super loud uh, hi-fi system or my uh, surround sound system, and I can have all my audio coming out of this. Yeah, right you can use, and then you can play along to it. If you're and then, as we say, you can put anything else in. You can put your yeah. phone, you can put your uh, your computer, your little laptop, whatever. You and again, what's something like that run for a map? This is a 279 map. So you've got all of your extra instruments, you've got Bluetooth, you've got... Another Christmas music. gift. Absolutely. That's Birthday gifts. That's buy it now. It's post-Christmas gifts. Exactly. So you've got your USB for uh, recording directly into a PC or Mac, super low latency. You've got our Insider software, which connects to it, which allows you to uh, you manage and change your presets and your patches. And obviously, control all of your extra voices. This, this is just an acoustic sim we've got here. Perfect. Instrument, great product for the home. Absolutely. Well, Dan, I appreciate you talking with us here at VintageRock.com. Black Star Amplification, man, making it smaller but making it louder as well, you know, and very versatile. So Absolutely. just a really, really killer product, man. I know you guys have really 
upped your game quite a bit. And then, you know, on top of that, you got your regular amps, you got everything, man. I mean, these guys have such a wide array of products, man. They're really, really getting, uh, making a name in the business. So, again, appreciate you talking with us at VintageRock.com. Thank you. It's 2015 NAMM Junkman, VintageRock.com, Black Star Amps. And again, one more thing, website, Blackstar. Blackstaramps.com. There you go. All right, peace out.